just landed in Chicago. Tyson's been in Minneapolis for a day for work. I'm going to rent a car, then I'm gonna go pick him up at the other Chicago airport at 10 p.m. and then we're gonna drive to pick up the van and start the van venture. Callie and I rendezvoused in Chicago. She picked me up from the airport and we are now in Ohio. It's 4.18 a.m. in the morning and we're gonna be pulling into my buddy's house here pretty soon. Hopefully we'll get a little bit of sleep tonight. And then what? Grabbing the van in the morning? And heading west. We've gotta get this rental car to Indianapolis where we're dropping it off. And then we're gonna have lunch and dinner with some friends and take the van back to its motherland. Well, we're not taking it back to its motherland. We're taking it to the motherland. It's never been out there. It's going west. We got about four hours of sleep. We spent the last couple hours loading up the van. Let's show you the inside really quick. It is kind of full of some stuff. Inside, we have a platform bed up here. Cabinets along the top. Fridge, stove, sink up front. Cabinets along the bottom with lots of storage. An extra seat that we didn't end up using. Like I said, the fridge, stove top, sink, lots more cabinets. We're officially living the van life. Just cruising through Illinois and jamming out to some Garth Brooks. Kind of just loving the life of the van. We recently stopped at a pilot gas station and I thought, oh, I'm gonna get a drink. This will be really relaxing and nice. Got a drink, threw it in the cup holder. The one thing that I did not calculate into the equation is that my friend put seat swivels on these seats. They came with their own bolts. He put all the old bolts in the cup holder. I put my cup in there and a bolt went through the bottom of my cup, draining all of the liquid. So now the cup holder is full of soda. I got to enjoy about two sips of it. However, I could still take the straw, I guess, and suck everything out of the cup holder that's in there. But I think that'd be kind of gross. I don't know how many of you have driven across the country, specifically the Midwest portion, but it kind of sucks. Right now, it is just after 3 a.m. in the time zone that we left from this afternoon, which was Indiana. And right now, we're about 50 miles east of the Colorado border. And I think that part of the problem was that we didn't leave until after 12 o'clock yeah. Indiana time. We got a little bit of a late start and that kind of put a damper on today. We're just cruising to Callie's friend's house though and hopefully we'll be there in the next Maybe 10 minutes, although... There are a lot of lights in front of us. A couple miles in front of us, there are a lot of flashing lights and a lot of brake lights, it looks like. We really haven't seen much for cars out here this evening. We're literally like not even five miles probably from her exit. I don't know if we're gonna be able to go here. I don't know what 
what's going on up here, but it doesn't look good. Set us back about 40 minutes, but we are moving. We'll be sleeping soon. This seems to kind of be a theme on this trip. We're pulling in at 4 a.m. Hopefully gonna get a little bit of sleep this morning and then finish the rest of the drive tomorrow. So we woke up this morning, got a little bit of sleep in Kansas and check it out. We made it to the motherland! Now only a couple of hours until we can see the mountains. We finally arrived home. After about a 1500 mile journey, we never thought this time would come. I was definitely over that drive. It felt like it took forever. So now it's time to clean up the van and in the next video we'll give you a little tour. Yeah, stay tuned. <laughs>